Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on femoral triangle. Femoral triangle is one of the most frequently asked topic in theory examinations. So you all should be knowing about this topic. So here in this image, uh, we can see the right thigh from the anterior aspect. Here are the orientation marks which are given. So in this image, this purple colored marked area is the femoral triangle. So it's a triangular hollow in the front of the thigh in the upper part, right? More on the medial aspect. So femoral triangle will be covering under following headings. First we will cover the boundaries of femoral triangle, then contents of femoral triangle. In contents, few contents will be learning in details. And then we will cover the applied anatomy and lastly I will show you the dissected specimen images of femoral triangle. So stay tuned till the end of this particular session. Okay, so let's begin with the boundaries. So while learning the boundaries, uh, we should be knowing about the side boundaries as well as the roof and the floor. Okay. So for side boundaries, here we can see this, this muscle is the sartorius muscle which forms the lateral boundary of the femoral triangle and this muscle is the adductor longus muscle which forms the medial boundary of the femoral triangle. Okay. And uh, we should be specific about the borders of the muscle as well. For example, the sartorius which border forms the boundary? The medial border. Okay. The medial border of the sartorius forms the lateral boundary of femoral triangle and for adductor longus as well it is all here also it is the medial border okay so for sartorius as well as adductor longus both medial border forms the boundaries of femoral triangle okay and base is formed by inguinal ligament it extends from the anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic tubercle okay and apex is formed in the region where this the sartorius and the adductor longus these two muscles are meeting okay so these are the side boundaries of femoral triangle. Now let's look at the roof. Roof of the femoral triangle as in any other region in anatomy. It's formed by skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia. Right. So here we can see the deep fascia in the thigh. This is referred to as fascia lata. Okay. Deep fascia in this region. And it has got an opening here that is referred to as the saphenous opening for this great saphenous vein which drains into the femoral vein. Okay. So and in the superficial fascia there are contents that we should be knowing so contents in superficial fascia are so in the superficial fascia the superficial epigastric vessels then superficial external pudendal vessels superficial circumflex iliac vessels vessels means artery as well as vein okay both are there so these vessels are there and Arteries are branches of the uh, femoral artery. Okay, these are the three superficial branches of the femoral artery, and veins are the tributaries of great saphenous vein. Okay, just before it enters the femoral vein. Okay, so in the superficial fascia, these vessels are also there, and there are few cutaneous nerves as well. So here there is the cutaneous nerve which we can see branches of the ilioinguinal nerve and femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve. Okay, so in the superficial fascia these contents also should be included in the roof okay now coming to the floor of the femoral triangle floor of the femoral triangle is formed by four muscles so these muscles we have to remember in one particular order from medial to lateral if we see there is adductor longus muscle then pectineus muscle and this is the tendon of the sauce major and this is the iliacus muscle okay so these four muscles from medial to lateral they form the floor so if we carefully observe adductor longus, it's included in the medial boundary as well and it's included in the floor as well. Why is it so? Because we had, we had included the medial border in the boundary, right? So this muscle chunk which is left that can be included in the floor of the femoral triangle. Okay. So this was about the boundaries of the femoral triangle. Now let's move on to the contents of femoral triangle. So contents of femoral triangle from medial to lateral if we see. There is a mnemonic which you can remember that is vein, artery and nerve, van. Okay. So the medial most structure is femoral vein and femoral artery and the lateral most structure is femoral nerve. Okay. And here there is also one nerve that is the femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve that also you can include in content. And there are few lymph nodes, the deep inguinal lymph nodes which we can see. Right. So lymph nodes, then these main contents, vein, artery and now are the chief contents. 
and uh, vein and artery if you see they are covered in a sheath which is called as femoral sheath let's look at the femoral sheath as well so this is a schematic diagram of the femoral sheath we are viewing it from the superior aspect imagine this is the right thigh only okay so there is a sheath which covers the femoral vein as well as the femoral artery and there is the medial most compartment of the sheath that is referred to as the femoral canal okay and now this is the femoral nerve which lies outside the femoral sheath okay why is it so because the femoral sheath is formed by uh, two layers on the anterior aspect there is fascia transversalis and on the posterior aspect there is fascia iliaca okay and the nerve actually originates behind the fascia iliaca so that is the reason why it is lying outside the femoral sheath okay and the medial most uh, compartment is the femoral canal the upper part of the femoral canal is referred to as the femoral ring and this opening is important as as uh, in applied anatomy of femoral triangle we learn there is femoral hernia the contents of the abdomen they protrude through this femoral ring into the femoral canal and it comes into the thigh okay so for femoral hernia this region is important okay this is a schematic diagram of the femoral sheath again so from medial to lateral if we see there is an empty space here then vein and artery along with femoral branch of genital to femoral nerve this is also a schematic diagram the medial most compartment also complain, contains a lymph node okay lymph node of clockwise and this is the femoral vein and femoral artery okay femoral artery let's see in details so the external iliac artery when it crosses the inguinal ligament it is labeled as femoral artery and its name changes as popliteal artery at this opening the adductor hiatus okay and femoral artery has got certain branches in the femoral triangle that we should be knowing so there are superficial branches as well as deep branches let's see that so superficial branches we had learnt in the roof of the femoral triangle as well okay which were the superficial external pudendal artery superficial epigastric artery then superficial circumflex iliac artery okay these three are the superficial branches deep branches include profunda femoris artery deep external pudendal artery and muscular branches okay all these branches of femoral artery we should be knowing the profunda femoris artery is the largest of all the branches and it also give further branches as the lateral circumflex femoral artery medial circumflex femoral artery okay so this was about the femoral artery now let's look at the femoral nerve as well so this is the femoral nerve branches which is shown root value of femoral nerve we should be knowing l2 l3 l4 dorsal divisions okay dorsal divisions ventral primary rami similar root value is for obturator nerve which is also l2 l3 l4 but ventral divisions okay so there is a main trunk of femoral nerve when it crosses the inguinal ligament it enters the femoral triangle and in the femoral triangle it only has got about 2 cm of course and further it divides into anterior division and posterior division okay anterior division of femoral nerve is predominantly cutaneous except one muscular branch that muscular branch is to the sartorius muscle okay and cutaneous branches include the intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh medial cutaneous nerve of thigh right and posterior division of the femoral nerve it is predominantly muscular except one cutaneous branch and that cutaneous branch is the saphenous nerve okay so posterior division is predominantly muscular to which muscles so these muscles fastus lateralis medialis intermedius articularis genu all these muscles in the anterior compartment are supplied by posterior division of femoral nerve except the sartorius okay sartorius is supplied by anterior division okay So this was about femoral nerve. Now let's uh, cover the applied anatomy of femoral triangle. So in applied anatomy, femoral hernia is the most important applied anatomy that you all should be knowing. Femoral hernia means contents of the abdomen are protruding in the femoral triangle through the femoral canal, right? And it is uh, more common in females because of the wider pelvis. The size of the femoral canal is large, right? And Uh, other applied anatomy include the site of femoral artery and site of femoral nerve we should be knowing femoral artery is located in the mid inguinal point what do we understand by mid inguinal point it is the midpoint of the pubic symphysis and the anterior superior iliac spine okay that is the mid inguinal point and midpoint of inguinal ligament is another term for which uh, 
we include the uh, midpoint of pubic tubercle to the anterior superior iliac spine it is slightly lateral to the femoral artery okay so for cannulation of the femoral artery for example uh, arterial blood gas analysis arterial puncture has to be done or for contrast radiography certain dye has to be passed through the femoral artery okay so site is important and for femoral now blockage of the femoral nerve for certain procedures so we should be knowing the location of these structures okay now let's look at the dissected specimen images of the femoral triangle so here we can see this is the right side left side both side femoral triangle are dissected here try to identify the muscle here this is the sartorius muscle this muscle is the adductor longus muscle okay and here are the contents of femoral triangle let's see another images as well here is the right sided femoral triangle showing the contents here we can see femoral vein femoral artery and the lateral most structure is the femoral nerve okay femoral nerve is shown very clearly in this image so as we can see it has got only a very short course and further it is getting dividing into branches okay there is also a dissected image in which the sartorius has been cut to expose the femoral artery properly so this is the femoral artery and we can see the largest branch from the femoral artery this is the profunda femoris artery okay and this image shows the uh, floor of the femoral triangle the medial most structure here this is the adductor longus muscle then there is pectineus muscle then there is tendon of sauce major muscle and the lateral most is iliacus muscle okay these four muscles from the floor from medial to lateral this muscle which we can see is sartorius it's not included in the floor it's included in the lateral boundary of femoral triangle okay so let's summarize what we have covered in this particular session we started with the boundaries of femoral triangle contents we enumerated the contents as well as we saw little bit details about the femoral artery as well as the femoral nerve and in applied anatomy we learnt about the femoral hernia as well as the site of femoral artery and femoral nerve for certain procedures and lastly i had shown you the dissected specimen images of the femoral triangle okay so for pdf handout of this particular session you all can whatsapp me at this number and please do watch other sessions of this youtube channel okay thank you